get to meet some of the coolest people doing this show, don't we? Yeah, I mean, uh, people that are involved in things you don't think people are involved in exactly around Exactly right, you know? you like you. No. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Ted Green, have you heard of him? Now, Ted Green is in the movie business. Yeah, he's a producer and uh, he did uh, the Christmas Addicts piece mm -hmm. uh, on WFYI. Also a piece coming up, you'll see it in October, about a Holocaust survivor, fascinating. And you'll get to meet him on tonight's show. She took a handful of corn kernels and threw it in that corner of the room and made us kneel there on the corn kernels for an hour while the rest of the kids were permitted to come and make fun of us. Well, I want to talk to you about your documentary, Eva. Okay. You traveled for two years to capture all of it? Uh, yes, this was a, a two-year journey for WFYI and I, and we went all over the place. We went with her to Romania, to her tiny little Romanian town of Ports, where her family, the only Jewish family, was carted out of town while all the neighbors watched on her way to Auschwitz. Uh, we went with her to Auschwitz twice, and even had a chance to interview her in what she calls the blood lab. I mean, I should say this. Oh, wow. Eva was only 10 years old, and she had a twin named Miriam, and they were what they call Mengele twins. They were experimented on by the biggest, one of the biggest sadists in the Nazi realm, Dr. Joseph Mengele, as his trying to build the perfect race. Well, he would do experiments on these kids, and, and that was their life. And we were able to interview her in the room where they strapped these kids down, and they would take blood from one arm and they'd inject them with these mysterious injections in the other that would make them you know horribly sick and do all sorts of terrible things to them and and so that you know to interview her there was great but then the on the bright side we also got to go with her to israel where she and her twin sister first tasted freedom at age 16 arriving on a boat off the port of haifa and so there we are, we take her on a little boat, we rented it, we off the port of Haifa, first time she's been there since 1950 when it first happened. And impromptu, she just breaks into the Israeli national anthem because that's what everybody on the boat sang when they first arrived. Kolot baleva penima Eretz Yehudi with Eva Kor, I don't think you could ever find in one single body a greater example of the triumph of the human spirit than a person who was a Mengele twin and now travels the world to teach healing through forgiveness. Forgive your worst enemy. It will heal your soul and it will set you free. So Eva is a bit of an adopted Hoosier for us. And I know she was the Grand Marshal of the 500 Festival Parade one year. That's right. Um, did she love that experience? Uh, she, she loved it. In fact, one thing in particular, it was on the red carpet at the Speedway where she met none other than Nikki Six. And uh, they sparked a, a quick friendship that actually resulted in Eva going to Los Angeles and being on his radio show. He thought it was fascinating and you should have seen the response from his heavy metal viewers oh, I'm sure. to this 80 year old four foot nine woman in Indiana. It was, it was cool to see. So tell me about the educational component of Eva. It is something else seeing her stand in front of a room full of young people and, and, and what they get out of her messages of compassion and inclusiveness and just her whole inspirational way. And so what we have done is we have shortened the documentary to one hour, um, so a much easier bite uh, for teachers, and also we've created a really cool curriculum guide that's interactive, includes parts of the film and all that, and, uh, and, and we just think that this is the way that her message will be carried on to future generations. I so I'm, I'm, really, I'm really proud of what's going on there. When does the two-hour documentary air on WFYI for the first time? Uh, the full documentary airs on October 25th. This is a story that resonates. Eva recently did an interview on BuzzFeed that has 189 million views. Whoa. So people around the world are interested in her story, and we'd like to think that we are telling it in full for the first time. And so we're excited to, to spread this as, as wide as we can. Well, Ted Green, uh, thank you for all of your contributions to not only our local community, but the world. <laughs> Julie, thank you so much. I appreciate this. Yeah. And you are watching Boomer TV.